today. Um, something big and poofy and volumizing. Um, so I've already curled my hair. Nothing too perfect. But I've used a lot of hairspray. Doesn't matter which one. I've used some dry shampoo on my roots to give it some volume. Um, I curled my hair with a straightener. It's what I normally curl my hair with. Um, to get tighter, more volumizing curls, you can use a wand. This is a inch to a half an inch. Just use mainly that part to get them really, really tight. But they don't have to be anything specific. Um, the only other thing that you will be using today, I think, is bobby pins and a brush. Uh, possibly a comb. I don't know yet. We'll see. But I've curled it and my right side always does better than my left, so we'll just see what happens. I'm going to brush some of these curls out, or all of them out, to get it a little bit more voluminous. And then I'm just going to tease the crap out of it. Kind of start at the root and come out a little bit. See how like big and crazy that is? I did some curls, I did most curls towards my face and some away from my face, um, but the curling gives it more volume and more texture, so you don't have to do as much teasing as you would if it was just straight. That's why I choose curling or crimping, whichever works. And when you back comb or tease, you just literally brush it all into a big tangle. Can you see how big and frizzy that is? Yeah, that's what we're going for. And I have some down here that just don't want to cooperate with me. Again, this is my left side, so it probably doesn't want to do anything. And the more I brush it out, the straighter it gets. So we're just going to keep teasing the under half of everything. And the thicker your hair is, the more hair you have to tease and the more voluminous it will be. The thinner your hair is, the more you're going to have to tease. So after all that lovely teasing, I'm just going to coat it in some hairspray. If you want to do this in a more uniform manner, you can. Just you can section it by each thing and go from there. But... Now we got this big monstrosity on the side of my head, and it's actually pretty light. Like, there's not, oh, I'm just spraying my hand. There's not a lot there. You, uh, if you have problems actually curling your hair, you might want to try some gel. Let it dry in there, brush it out, and then try curling it. Um, something just to help it hold. Now you're going to need at least hairspray to do this at a brush, but I don't know if y'all can see it or not. I'm going to have some cute little curls in there. Okay, now to do the other side that has actually more curls in it, so may not have to do as much teasing. Let's put that monstrosity off to the side. And brush this out a little bit, and the tighter your curls are, the Again, more volume you'll have, and the more proof you'll have when you actually brush them out. So that involves less teasing. Um, I don't know, I'm just fascinated by that. I'm not looking at you guys while I'm doing my hair, because my mirror is right here, and I can't really see much <laughs> into my camera. So, again, just do the same thing. Just kind of brush it towards the root and go all the way to the tip. Okay. You want, I, what I did is, if you want a more in-depth video on how I curled my hair, please ask for that, um, and I'll kind of prepare more for that, but that's if you don't know how to actually curl your hair, because I know some girls don't, but there's tons of video on YouTube how how to curl your hair and how to do it with a straightener and how to do it with a wand and different um, tools. But 
is so cute. Oh my gosh. And the reason I am going so big is because it's going to be hot and sweaty and humid and all of this is going to tone down. Like, I promise you, it's going, it's going to go down. So, I go big and extravagant as much as I can at first and then, you know, I know it's going to tone down from there. So, literally, I just grabbed pieces. See, this is already falling. Um, I just grab pieces and just back brush the rest of it. Um, and you may have to do a few layers of um, hairspray and teasing together to get it to the max poof that we're looking for here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and spray this side all underneath. And if I go through here and I find some that aren't as teased as I would like them to be, you know, I'm going to go ahead and part it and tease it some more. And then hairspray the crap out of that. Flip it over maybe. Oh, gotta make sure my hairspray that. Woo! Okay. So then, after all that is done, I'm probably gonna tease throughout this entire video because I probably will not be happy and I'll find different things. And I look like a poodle right now. Great. Um I'm going to take this front half right here, brush some of that teeth out so that it doesn't hurt because I am majorly tender headed. <laughs> I don't know how many bobby pins I'm going to need, so I'm just going to get a bunch out. Okay. I'm going to take this front half and sort of pull it back into a bump. If you can kind of see this here, give a little volume in the front. And pull it back on the sides and grab that middle part. I'm going to kind of twist it to where the uh, one side goes over the other and bobby pin the mess out of it. <clears throat> I'm going to do one on each side first to kind of give it some secure right there so it holds without me holding it. And um, Bobby pin 101. The crinkly part is what goes up against your head, not that part. So if you open it like this, it goes in your head like that. So you just keep pushing, and if you put them vertical upways, um, vertical upways, it will give it more security for the volume that we're looking for up here. And I'm gonna go and grab some more at the sides and pull it back and bobby pin those, crisscross them to give them more security on each side. Kind of give us a little bit of like a photo hog because you know that's cool. And then I'm going to go through and pull some of this up um, and hairspray that. Trying to make sure that's kind of smooth on top. And uh, yeah, we have all this volume in the back so you can see your pretty face. And I uh, have no idea what it looks like from behind. Yep, so I'm just going to turn around so you guys can kind of see what I'm looking at here. Mm -hmm. And again, if you find some pieces that are just flattening out like this, go back, tease them, and individually hairspray them. Now, we're not looking for, like, I have a big knot right here now. I'm going to brush that out and tease it more into the root and sparsely throughout the actual strand. If that makes sense, so I don't have just a big ball, I have more of a elongated poof. So, um, yeah, it's, that's it. After you curl it, it's pretty simple. 
Um, the curling is what takes the most time out of it. The rest of it is just being messy and having fun, really. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with this now. <laughs> um, good luck if you have any questions. Please contact me or comment or whatever, and I'll get back to you.